How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Bonsai Down Under. Uh, I um, I haven't put a video out for a while. Um, I've just been busy um, chasing up and, and doing some things, and um, yeah, so uh, and it's been really sort of hot here, so. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've probably just probably just been a little bit slack with it. Um, just think about coming up a, like with a you know something that's a bit interesting for people uh, that, that they might get something out of it. Uh, so not just a just just a video on just repotting or something like that, or um, or or just pruning back plants. So making it a little bit more interesting with your bonsai um, journey that you that you that you might want to start. So yeah, uh, I was thinking about these two. Uh, variegated ficuses that I have here. I've had these in pots for a little while. Um, so yeah, they um, they came out of um, they're the leftovers from my um, I did a a forest type um, planting. So yeah, and um, and and these were two that or well, not two. There's a four of them actually there. Uh, uh, three that actually there. So. Uh, I'm going to try to sort of infuse them together, make them so that, you know that that trunk will be a little bit more interesting when it forms. And think about putting it in this cylinder here, um, so I can get the roots because it's quite thin um, um, of area there. Uh, so the roots will tend to grow straight down, down into that cylinder, and 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 get a bit of length to them. Eventually, when those roots do get a bit of length to them, I'll, um, and when they go into that soil, uh, uh, touch down into this soil here, um, I'll fill this up with soil, and so the roots will probably might only be about to there at the moment. So, but when they start to grow, they'll start to grow all the way down into that bottom part of that pot, into the other soil, because um, that's what roots tend to do anyway. They tend to because if you, they're in like a, a, a enclosed area like that where they can't be exposed or get out or escape, they're going to come. They're going to go straight down anyway. So, which um, is the idea that I want to do, and um, and then eventually when those roots do get there, it's a it's going to be a bit of a project. Um, and then maybe like you know just maybe put put in some rocks or something like that just to make it a bit more interesting yeah, so you get like a bit of a root over rock sort of floating uh, idea um, yeah so something a little bit different and um, and I'm just going to go ahead with it and and, we'll, and it's a bit it's going to probably be a project it's going to take a little while <laughs> so you know it's it's a step by step one and um, it's something interesting you know that you can, maybe you might want to have a go yourself and um, and then yeah and have a comment online about it, and show me how you're going with it. And um, you might want to share share your um, your your little um, experiment that you're doing. So with me, so that that, that would be great to uh, to hear back. There's some feedback of somebody's who's, who's actually you know thought about taking the idea on. And yeah, anyway, I'll stop talking. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll get these out of these pots, and um, and we'll come back and um, and and be right back with you. Oh yeah, and also I'd like to um, uh, have a shout out to the people that have um, subscribed to the channel already and 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 that have taken an interest. Uh, thank you for that, and um, and thanks for your time and that, and and I hope you maybe get something out of it and to help you with your plants and yeah. So um, I would like to thank you for that. So anyway, um, and if you you know if you you know somebody else that might like the idea. Um, you share it, share it to somebody, and um, yeah, and that's the way that we um, we'll all grow and learn, and yeah. All right then. Um, so I'll I'll get these out of these pots, and um, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I've I've taken them out of the pots, and it's quite interesting to see what we got here. We got um, it's a really um nice sort of. They've got to see how the roots have still. have got a fair bit of length to them already uh, with these ficuses. See how I tell you that. And so when they go down into that cylinder, they'll, they'll grow pretty good in there. And they'll keep going down and getting thicker too as they get in. Le they're left in the soil there. So we want them to thicken up, and that's the thing I want to do. So I've got two here. Um, so 
Yeah, uh, and I I don't mind how I've got all this little this twindy um, these roots sort of going around a little bit and a bit twindy. It's going to be interesting because so that way I can lock the rock in there. Um, I'm thinking about yeah having that one there. I could probably get a rock in there, nice that root to, with the rock to get that root to go around the rock. So we'll leave it like that until it gets a bit of um. Uh, what what I actually am going to do is I'm going to put a rock in there to start off with at the top. So um, just to, just to get one started in there. And so eventually, um, if it's sitting in there. And all these, and then these roots get stronger as they get down down to that main down to the soil there. That's going to really that's going to bind itself around that rock pretty good. So something like that I'm thinking of, and um, and the idea is is to um, is to get these to um, I want to twine them around a little bit each other. Would make it very sort of interesting if we could if we could um, get them to twine around a little bit. And give it it'll give it a, like a little bit of character. So once I do that, twine that around that a little bit, I can I can bring bring it out a little bit. Just maybe you know bring them out. And, and get a little bit more shaping and this other one here too is the idea that one is fairly strong too with its roots already so um, see there you know there you go straight away you can see how you've got a you've got a, a, a trunk formed already that's going to infuse together and you got this crazy full-on root system thing you've got you've got a very fair variety there where you can put some rocks and things so that's the idea I think I'll just basically for now um, is to get these roots to get um, to get longer and, and to start to get a little bit of body so we're probably going to just tie these together I'll, I'll, I'll twine these together and maybe just do a little bit of wiring out here just to, just to get a little bit of um, shape happening to start off with um, so we're, we want to sort of set it to where we want it sort of thing I think um, yeah so yeah that's the whole idea I, I, I sort of want this to infuse around each other it's um, gonna be a It's quite a good time to do it now too. Is, is when they're young, because um, I, I, I can I can get a bit of movement in it, uh, and um, something along those lines there. Maybe maybe if I could get that one to go around that way. So when this when this sort of infuses all in together, it's gonna look it'll look really like it's all entwined in and got a bit of shaping. It's not a normal old trunk. It's gonna have a little bit of character there to it. Maybe bring that one around that way a bit. Okay, so all I'm doing here is just um, it, just trying to get them to infuse in a little bit and then we'll, we'll open up this top here a little bit and see later on as they grow out we'll get a bit of branching happening there so um, but just for now um, yeah it's like I've, I see how I've sort of twined them all in together it's, it's gonna make a little bit interesting there when that when that trunk when those when those um, trunk lines actually start to fatten up a little bit it'll um, you'll give it a little bit of movement and character so so yeah, instead of like, you know, just putting one of these little ficuses um, in a pot, it, it takes so long for it to um, basically get a, a decent sized trunk line. You, you see this a lot too, if people do this with the pomegranates, because pomegranates are like the same thing, it, it gets very straggly, sticky, uh, long stick um, trunks, and so they join them all together. and. Um, 
So, yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good like that. Um, so we'll put that in there like that sort of thing. And I want to just go and wet these roots. So what we'll do is we'll come back and um, I think that's going to twine in all right. But we'll, I will put some binding around that just to, just to keep it there and where, where I want it to, to stay. Um, yeah, so we've got a bit, a bit of character happening there, and we can we can we can bend them out a little bit later as they as they start to grow out. All right, so I'll just get I'm going to get wet these down, and um, and we'll come back and we'll and um, and then we'll get this yeah, going inside the cylinder here. All right, won't be long. All right, so just give them a bit of water, keep them wet and moist. Otherwise, you don't you don't want them to dry out on you. So yeah, so we've got that twined around a little bit. So next stage now, I think we'll just we'll put this. Um, I'm going to push these roots down a little bit, so they so they start to go down a little bit more when they're in the in there in that um, cylinder. Because see, they've got to get inside this cylinder here. So we'll squeeze them all in just like that sort of thing, you know, and um, let the roots go down in there and do their thing. And we'll we'll have this come over and. And once this starts to twine in together, get a bit of thickness to it. All these 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 trunks will twine together, and it'll give it a little bit. It'll give it a bit of character, I reckon. So anyway, yeah. And I'm just going to put it back in this um, pot here then too. See, so it'll sit inside this pot here. We'll we'll give it a bit of height like that for now. So having it inside this cylinder it's going to make it um, a, a lot structure wise and, and, it, and you don't have to bother with, with trying to um, um, bind it up and, and strengthen it while the roots are in here so it's going to, it's going to be quite stable in there too so alright so we'll fill this up with some soil and, um, and let those roots do their thing they'll keep growing and getting stronger and I might even have to pull them out a little bit and then um, maybe, like I said, cut them back. And so if you cut them back a little bit, um, they'll re ramify more inside. But um, I really want the I really want the um, the fatter roots to um, to form more. These these roots here, that's what we're looking at. And and we want these finer roots to finish further down in the soil. So we want these to be quite nice um, roots. So that so. When I do have a go at putting the rocks in here later um, to bind them in, we'll um, put the rock in there and then um, put some netting around it with some peat moss or something, or sphagnum moss or something like that, uh, and uh, a caging, a bit of a caging around it, so so I can still water in there, and um, but it'll it'll keep it all uh, together and for in form, so it's not going to fall apart on me anyway. And so then it'll eventually they'll start to infuse all the way around those rocks and that anyway. So, so there's only there's a couple I want to put in there. It'll be look quite good. And then with all this nice and twined it up up top here, and we'll we'll start to get some character. We can we can we can wire some of this out a little bit. Just give it a structure at the start. We will wire them out where we want them. So yeah. All right. So what we'll do is we'll put, we'll get some we'll get some soil in this one and we'll put we'll start filling up our cylinder and put put that in there. All right. I'm going to use quite an organic soil just for this process. I'm not going to go and get in, I'm not going to use any, any uh, expensive soil, bonsai soils at the moment because all I want to do is basically it's just to get some growth in the roots and stuff. So I've just got a, um, a quite an organic mix here, potting mix, that we'll use. I had today. I'll, I'll just put some, put some in here, add it to it. Sure to do. It's got a nice mixture of organic stuff in there, matter in there. So I quite like this one because it's it doesn't ha it's not too chunky with all sticks and things like that in it. Because some of those organic um, mixes are very they can be very chunky and woody. Um, but this one's quite good. It's it's got it's got you can see you can see the um, the organic matter in there, which is which is one. But but it's not as it's not really chunky. Um, so yeah. All right. So what the first thing we do is we'll fill up the pot. 
we get the pot in here and we'll get some so we're, not bothered, we're not going to worry about too much about the um, so this is virtually when the roots go into this anyway it gives it more room to grow into uh, and when and when they get, start to get thick in here well um, I'm, I'm going to raise it up a little bit more higher maybe because I'd like to put a couple of rocks in there to get the idea and then eventually down the bottom is going to be a rock too so it's going to look like a float it'll be like yeah a floating style um, feature yeah so and then eventually those bottom it'll have a bottom rock in there will anchor in to the main the pot on the bottom so yeah that's the plan We'll just see how we go with it. So you know, it's, it's an experiment. So that's the fun of it. You know, it making a little bit more interesting. I think. Um, we'll make a little well here so we can we can fill up our, our cylinder. So that's just in there like that. So it's a fair fair bit of that in the pot, and and I don't want too much of that going down on the cylinder because I I want that the roots to eventually head through that cylinder and and still and then bite into this pot down the bottom here. But that's where I want my feeder roots down the bottom here. When when it comes through that cylinder, eventually I I want to I want to start thickening up the making sure I leave it in the cylinder so these roots get fairly thick here. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. So we'll just sit that in there like that, I think, eh? And um, all right, and we'll start filling up our cylinder. Now I'll do two, so I'll, I will start to get the roots down in here because I want them to start already feeding, going down into that pot. I don't want them to be too um, all in one area there. I, I want them to already already start to feed down into that pot. So I, I want to keep it like that, and then I'll start pushing the soil down into it. push it down with our fingers so we can get all, all the gaps so best of us said those roots will keep going down that's what they've done in that pot already so and this is a, this is actually a, um, a smaller diameter of um, room for them to, to go so, so we, we, we really want to just you know just fill all that up expose it also I've got a little cane stick here so what I might do is I just 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 go through down that and so I can get the so I don't want to damage those roots too much there just to get take the air out of it the spots because this is this is actually quite good uh, drainage this one too I've, I've noticed that with this with this potting mix it's a it's that um, it's made by um, Hornico. Yeah, um, it's I, I do like it because it's not a um, it's not a very woody one and it's not chunky. So uh, it's easy like too like to do this sort of thing when you're um, when you when you're trying to pack it down and that it's you don't end up hitting big lumps of bark and that and, and bits of wood. So it's easier to work with. So that's what we want to do. We want to um, now. Um, I could like just bring that up a little bit more now. I just want to expose that up there a little bit more. So now we'll just keep on feeding it down into there, pushing it down more because I want to bring this up a little bit more. So yeah, where that trunk line is exposed there a bit. Push a bit more in there. See, this is this will just sit in here, you know, and it's not going to go anywhere. It's there's no need to um to lock it in or anything like that. You can even put some more soil around the outside there. That that'll that'll stabilise your your cylinder a bit more. See, around the outside of the pot there a bit. So yeah, that's the whole idea of it. It'll. Now it'll stay in this system now for you know for, for a few years now. So you're looking at a you're going to be looking at a um, a plastic cylinder for a while. But um, 
But once we start to get, uh, you know, uh, we'll leave it for about two years or something like that, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll see what our root system is going to be like then. And then this this trunk line by then too, it'll all it'll all start to develop more and thicken up, and and we'll start to get some nice sort of twinding look to it. It'll be a bit of even that now we're joining those three together. It's made a bit of a taper there down the bottom of that. So yeah, it's made that quite interesting. I'm just gonna, I'm just keeping you on, keeping on feeding that down, and then trying to just push this up a little bit more. So I want the, um, I want the soil to go down in there. So we're filling up all those gaps. Don't want to have any gaps in there that are. See these ficus are very very hardy and they're they're a great they're a great thing to to work with and and to experiment with, especially if you want to do some cra you know some fun things with the roots and that. They they allow you to do that because they got a, they got a, a very vigorous um, root system that on them that they, they just grow so quick. Like I said, these those little cuttings I only had them in the pot for about not even a year and uh, look at that look at the root system that's actually sort of grown on that already so you know not even a year they've been in these little pots oh, I've got a worm in there he, he's gonna find a new home in here I hope I didn't kill him no he's all right he'll go and dig his way back down into there he'll love that the wormy, you can stay in there. Okay. That come out of the, that come out of the pots. Oh, I get I get that many worms that just swarm in my pots. I think it's because it's because I, I use a lot of organic um, soils too, and they love it. They just they love burying them, burying themselves into it, and, and they enrich the soil too. The old worms. So. Like I said, like I said, we won't we won't uh, probably do too much up here for now. Um, yeah, just I, I think I, I think at the moment I just want to let it grow and um, and get itself established into here a bit. Like I said, I've, I've started this already. I've given this a bit of a twined up and it um and it'll. It'll do its thing, work itself out, sort of thing, it, make it a bit interesting. Yeah, as I said, I just made it so it's so they twined around a bit. Yeah, yeah. And eventually, you know, once it's, it's, well, you get all these branches grow out of there, and it gives you and and. and that, that divide off that main trunk line so you know and then you can sort out something like that you can sort out your secondary um, design or style that you want to do you know so so virtually that's what it is it's just going to stay in that cylinder and then after like I said after two years I'll probably pull it out of this uh, cylinder and by the roots have already grown down a fair bit in there and then I'll take it out of there and then I'll eventually start I'll start to train um, some rocks in there I'll put some rocks in those roots and open up the roots a little bit so uh, yeah but I'll wait until they get a bit um, get a bit of thickness to them and that too so so, so they, they have something to bond onto those rocks and, and then you um, I'll, I'll, I'll support those rocks in those areas uh, that I want and then and then eventually I'd like to put it into a um, a, a um, had that just with sphagnum moss on there then so without this cylinder here so uh, and and then to encourage those roots to grow over those rocks and to fuse into them where you want them to go so yeah so anyway so that's just the start of it and um, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll we'll let this grow for a while and then I'll, I'll come back and I'll do I'll give a bit I'll give you a bit of an update on it each time so maybe you know every six months or something like that it's uh, yeah, as I said um, it, all these projects you know they don't just happen just straight away I mean you've got to um, you've got to wait and then you've got to put a bit of time in with them and and keep them and keep them going so um, yeah so anyway so this is my um, ficus um, a, f a ficus um, floating rock feature 
bonsai eventually. Um, so I think it's going to. I think it look quite nice with the variegated leaves on it and everything like that. It gives it a bit of character too. Not just having those green. I like the variegated look on the on the on the spikers. So um, yeah, but anyway, um, so oh, I'm going to give this a bit of a water and and then um, what we'll do um, after that that is. Um, I'm actually shooting this video at night, uh, so maybe tomorrow I'll, I might show you some updates on some of my my earlier videos, what we've done with some of the um, the peanut butter that I did in um, in my mango, and just to show you how they're going on in those um, those strainers that I put them in, the idea of that strainer idea. So you you'd be quite surprised how how um, healthy they're looking in that too with that idea. Uh, with the air pruning system, so um, yeah, and I um, I've started a uh, fruit a fair few fruit trees off like that too um, with, with with the air pruning style. It's uh, it speeds them up a bit and um, it, it gives that it, it lets those roots um, have a little bit more room to branch out and and do their thing and grow and yeah. So. Anyway, that, that's this is a bit of a this is going to be it for now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll water this and um, and and pretty much that's the that's going to be it. It'll stay like that now uh, for quite a, quite a while. So so yeah, it um, it'll be something that I'm just going to follow now and uh, go through and keep an eye on it and watch it grow and. And like I said, once once I'll give you a bit of a close up on how I've got that twined around there. You, you can see then, you get the idea that eventually they're going to fuse together those trunks, and it'll look quite nice with a bit of with a bit of character in there with that with a bit of movement happening. So yeah, all right. Um, so I'll, I'll give this a bit of a drink, and um, I'll come back and I'll, and I'll and I'll just I'll give you a bit of a close up on it. All right. So before we go out. Okay, we've given that a bit of a water, and I've left it in this cylinder, which I think I probably will leave it in the cylinder because it is very hot here, and and it'll it'll be good because it'll self feed itself now with a bit of water up that up that cylinder, and so there you see you can you can see the um, the roots there that I've twined around. It'll come up into the canopy here, so we'll just let that we'll let that grow now, and it'll um, it'll 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 start to infuse together, and then we can we can start to get some branching come out, and we can select the branches that we want. But for now, it's just going to sit in there. It's got a nice little twine happening there around the around it. So yeah, once that all starts to infuse together, I think that will look quite, quite attractive and give it a bit of feature. So anyway, guys, that's um, that's that little project. It's the, it's the ficus um, over rock, floating ficus floating over rocks project. So yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. It's only just stage one at the moment. We'll get it started, and so it'll just—it's just making those couple of ficuses that I had there um, make it a bit more interesting. So over time, it'll—it'll it'll start to look. It'll start to um, get some character to it. All right, so that's that's that. All right, and we'll just—I'll just finish up there. So okay, all right, guys. That's about it for this one. Um, it's it wasn't a very long video, but um, like I said, um, I'm going to bring out one soon with some of the updates on some of the the uh, projects we've done in the past, and and just to show you how they're getting on. So, all right. Um, so everybody, take care and um, and and thanks for those who have tuned in and um, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, eventually. Um, we're, we're gonna. I'm gonna go and do a few LA, LA projects. Um, so that'll be interesting. So, 
and which that's um, a, a process where you um, you can take a, a, a nice size trunk that's already already developed off a main mother tree and, and eventually like I want to do some fruit ones some um, fruit trees airlays um, a couple I'm going to think about doing is it's, it's a guava and a mango and um, and some others along the along the track there I'd like to get established so anyway um, so that's it for now and um, and we'll see you on the next video um, of bonsai down under everybody take care and um, God bless <laughs>